Hi, I'm Laura GB and in this Microsoft Fabric video we're going to explore the SQL Analytics endpoint. This is where we can write queries against our data. So let's take a look inside our workspace. We can see our lake house that we created and whenever you create a lake house it creates an SQL Analytics endpoint as well. We can click on that if we just want to go that way in. That's the easy way in. But for those of us that spend a lot of time inside the lake house, we can switch from our lake house by the top right hand corner over here. We can click on the SQL Analytics endpoint. And once that's loaded, we can see that we can, we can view our data. We can click on products and view the data, etc. And we can explore our data that way. But another way to explore our data is to write a query. So if we click on a new SQL query up at the top here, I can then in this window, we can start to type some SQL. I'm going to keep it really basic and simple here. But as I start to type in select, it gives us help. Okay, so I can click on there and it'll type it in for me. Let's go for the all the columns for a second. And let's take that from and as soon as I start to type in my table name, the customers comes up. There we go. And we can click run. And hey presto, it's given us our data. We can even come into here and decide we don't want all our customers. Let's just go for our customers where the type equals a hotel and there we are we get the 11 hotels that are in our data brilliant that works great and i can explore my data and do lots of things if you want another query i can click a new sql query up there and that will open up for me a new blank tab so if i click in so if i put a query into there and let's run it there we are we get our sales so in there i've got we sold 201 boxes of celery which is great that works fine i end up with these queries sql query one and two and if we look down the left hand side you'll see there's my queries and we can see them in there and if i close this and reopen it they'll still be there okay but those names don't mean much if you end up with half a dozen queries down there it's going to get confusing so we can right click on the tab up here and we can click rename and i can put into there product quantity sold and click rename and there we are it's named up on the tab and also if we look down the bottom left it's also been renamed down there as well so that's another way but this is just for me it's my queries so maybe i want this query to be available for a report so we first of all start by selecting all the query and then I'm going to go select save as view and we're going to put into here products sold as my name let's put an underscore in there just to fit the naming convention and I'm then going to click OK and if we come into our views and just do a refresh we can see there we've got our our view and i can click on it and the equivalent of running it okay so that works pretty well so once we've done that so that's written an sql query and we saved it as a view now for those of you that don't like sql okay but you turn and say well but i quite like power query I can do it in Power Query. There is a new part up here called New Visual Query. And I can click into there. Now, we start this off by dragging in a table. So I can drag in my products. And this brings me into a Power Query, Power Query Editor, similar to Power Query Online. Okay. It's not quite the same. I can't get to the M code. There's no formula bar and I can't see the query quite the same way. 
but I can up here add actions. So this is my box of, the, of my query. I can click on a plus there and I can I can add actions. There's all sorts in there that we can do. Or I can come down here and I can, let's say, filter the category to just show root vegetables. And there you are, you'll see it adds an action into the box at the top here. And once we've done this, we can do a number of things. We obviously can add in more tables and do merges, etc. But we can do a view the SQL. And that will show us what SQL is written behind the scene. We also could go to save it as a view. And it also will remain in our lists of our my queries. If you want to get rid of it, you can click on the three dots in there and there's a number of options to your my queries to duplicate them or delete them, rename them, etc. So in this video, we've done a quick explore. We've written some SQL against our data. We've saved it as a view. We've also done a visual query and saved that as a view as well. So I'm Laura GB. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.